Are peel and stick wood planks a good idea? We go over the pros and cons on this episode of Timber Tips. Peel and stick wood planks are a relatively new idea that are becoming more popular. Most involve a thin wood veneer with very high bond adhesive strips on the back. Stickwood was one of the pioneers of this product, with more options popping up like plank and mill and rewood. First, let's talk about the pros of peel and stick. Peel and stick products can be used on almost any surface, so you can really let your creativity shine. I've seen hundreds of creative uses on social media for these products. Another pro is the slim profile. You can place this right on drywall, and in most cases, you don't have to remove the trim or readjust outlet covers. Lastly, I love how easy it is to install. It takes hours instead of days to get the look you want, and you don't have to invest in a lot of tools to do this yourself. Now let's talk about the cons. First is price. Peel and Stick is significantly more expensive than similar pre-finished wood products. Peel and Sticks range from $10 to $16 a square foot. Other pre-finished products can be 50% less or more. For example, Synergy Wood is $6 to $12 a square foot, and Real Soffit by Woodtone is only $4 a square foot. That's a significant cost difference if you're installing in a large area. Another downside is that there's no warranty on the adhesive or the wood itself. Most companies state that the adhesion is rated for 10 years, but there's a lot of factors at play and if it fails within a couple of years, they're not responsible. Other wood products have warranties from 5 years all the way up to 15 years on the finish or the wood itself. When it comes to installation, Peel and Stick companies do a good job explaining that you need to acclimate the wood for a few days in the environment before installing. But I would take it a step further and say that you shouldn't install Peel and Stick unless it's in a conditioned space. I was recently walking a multifamily job site under construction when I ran across a Peel and Stick wall that had just been installed and was already peeling away. The reason I think the adhesive was failing was because it was in a hot and humid space and it was in a construction site with constant dust. I would recommend waiting until a project is climate controlled and almost finished before installing peel and stick. If you like the thin profile of a peel and stick but don't want to worry about adhesive failure, Rewood sells a 3 8 inch tongue and groove board. This profile is still half the thickness of a typical interior wood siding and you can use finished nails to secure it to the drywall. If you are remodeling or building custom and you want to fill a large area, you may want to look at other siding options. I'll have a link to all the products we talked about in the description below. For more information worth knowing about lumber products and projects, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell and we'll see you next week on Timber Tips.